Today we're going to rebuild this window, the jealousy window. It's got a broken piece of glass. Um, I ordered a new piece of glass, have it here. So we're going to replace the screen, get this cleaned up so that when we're ready to put it back in the trailer after our restoration, it'll be ready to go. To get this screen out, I'm going to push on the top here and you'll watch the, watch this slide. What that does is it opens up the gap here on the bottom. Do it again. Then, you can take a tool, a screwdriver, or a knife, stick it in the slot here, and then pull that out. We're going to disassemble the screen, so we're going to take the old screen material out, and um, that involves removing the spline. So I'm going to get in here and try to dig one edge of this out. And this is old stuff, man. It is hard because it's been in there probably decades. Alright, so just grab a hold of that. Oh, yeah, it's super stiff. Give it a pull. I'll take it all the way out. Finish pulling this out the rest of the way. And try to start an edge here on your screen. And start taking the screen material all the way out. Screen's out. That's some old stuff, man. Wow. That looks so much nicer with the new material in there. So we'll pick up some new screen, some new spline at the hardware store. We'll probably just stick with the fiberglass screen. There's aluminum screen, but I don't know if I want to go that route. So I'm going to clean up this window, get all this garbage out of here, and uh, get the old seal off. Do some more cleanup. One tool I've used a lot is a gasket scraper tool. I'm going to pick one up at an auto parts store. But it's a little bit more rigid than a putty knife. And it really does help out uh, I mean, getting some of this harder stuff. So you can actually get in there and pry it. I'm just kind of getting in here with the steel brush, cleaning all this up. I'm not sure. I was contemplating taking all the rest of the glass out so I could really get in here and scrub this. Uh, one thing I noticed is this felt seal right here. And there's a seal here that. When you close the window, let me show you. All the glass mounts here end up turning and they seal against that felt seal. So I might look online and see if I can find the, the new seal, but it looks like it would just be a pain to replace it. I'd have to kind of snaking in between each one of these slats, but let me look and see if I can find it. I did some research and I found this weather strip here. It's called Pile Weather Strip. And you can get it online. Yeah, it's tough to get the camera to focus on it. But on the bottom of the window, it'll pull out of the slot. And I'll pull right out of here. So you're going to take this and pull it out. And I'll go ahead and order some for this window. And we'll get it replaced. Might even replace these rubber cushions here. I did find the new seal here. Um, I ordered like 16 feet of it for the whole trailer. It was about 20 bucks with shipping. So now I'm going to remove the glass. you take a small flathead screwdriver, you can kind of get in behind the glass here. Don't pry on the glass because of course you'll break it, but there's a, a slot right behind this that if you get your screwdriver in there, let me get a closer view, I can pry it like that and 
and open this up a little bit so the glass can get past. I'm going to do that on both sides and pull the glass out. Okay, I've got it uh, on this side, pried past so it clears. So I'll go ahead and lift this out, hopefully. Very carefully. I do not want to buy another piece of glass. Oh yeah, here it comes. Okay, so now the, the glass is actually hitting the window frame, so I think I'm going to have to crank the window until it's a little more straight. But I can still get my fingers in here. Man, this is a pain. Get it? Okay. Now, I've got it out of the mount. It's kind of tricky to get it out of the... There we go. Man, I'm gonna have to find a safe place to store this glass because I do not want to buy another one. So the top piece of glass can't come out of there no matter what you do with the adjustment on the window, it hits the frame there. So, let's either bend this rubber mount out so that it can the glass can pass past this side, or take the window apart and pull this top piece off and the glass gates slide out the top. And it's got some... Uh, different hardware. I'll have to see if I have this bit. Well, I don't have what they call a clutch head bit for these screws, so I decided to just um, cautiously bend this tab down with a pair of needle nose. Just kind of twist it out that way a little bit, so now it's at an angle. And then I managed to Kind of pull up on this a little bit and work the glass past the clip on this end. On the bottom outside, there is a seal here. It's pretty crusty. Um, kind of looks like a bulb shape. And it rides inside of this tiny channel right here. See whether I find that online, and it also has a piece here on the top. On the inside, all the way down here, and it's pretty hard right now, it's not flexible, so it's most likely not going to be doing much sealing. And if you look at the outside, you can see that same channel, and that's where it slides in side. So I'll try to order that online too. This old stuff just pulls right out. There's the profile. So the stuff I found online isn't a bulb with a lip like this. It's more of a, I don't know what I call it, a J shape, but I think it'll still work. It has the same profile on the mount. So I'll go ahead and order it and see how it works out. Got some soapy water here, give these things a scrub. And if that doesn't come off, there might be some overspray on there from a previous paint job. I'll have to take a razor blade to it. We'll see. I've got all the glass cleaned and wrapped up. I'm going to try to keep it nice and safe <laughs> until we're ready to put this window back together. So. Uh, the top seal in the frame here. I'm going to take my flathead screwdriver, poke, poke in there. It popped out on this side. It slides right out. Now the new seal isn't going to be this stiff. Uh, it should be pretty flexible, but we'll see how it goes when it gets here. There you go. Back down here to the bottom of the window. 
I'm going to grab this seal, the side seal with some needle nose pliers. Yeah, I'm really surprised that pulled out so easy. Okay, let's see here. And there it is. So it's got it's got like an aluminum backing to it. It's kind of hard to see, but it turned out good. All right, the window I would call you know I would want to call it a regulator, but it's an operator. The window operator. You got a couple of Phillips head screws here, and then here on the side there was a, a slotted machine screw. Take that out and. In theory, this should just lift right out, but let's see. There we go. So I'll probably clean this out and give it a little lubrication. I ordered more of these little rubber buttons too, these little mounts. So I'm gonna go ahead and pop, just pop these off so I can get a good, good cleaning in here. I'm going to use a softer bristled cut brush and uh, kind of take off some of this heavy stuff and I'll probably go over it with some a sanding sponge and then some scotch bright and we'll see how it turns out. I'm going to switch over to a drill motor with a cut brush to get in here to some of these more sensitive areas because you could really do some damage with the angle grinder uh, if you caught an edge here or something and grab one of these brackets it would just tear it right off uh, so let's continue cleaning so stepping it down another notch to uh, just a uh, a, like a toothbrush style brush. Get in here and try to get these channels cleaned out. What I'm realizing is there's no way I'm gonna get in here and get all this looking nice and spiffy um, with a manual brush. So what I'm thinking about doing is grabbing uh, maybe some wheel cleaner for a car, an aluminum wheel cleaner. Use some kind of chemical spray in here and see if it'll reach all this stuff and just clean it up a little bit. I'm not looking for high polish, but I definitely would like it to look better than that. So let me explore my options of using a wheel cleaner, chemical wheel cleaner. Got some of this chemical stripper in a glass jar, a cheapo dollar brush. And I'm going to go ahead and put or apply some of this stripper to the paint that's on this window frame and see if it'll take it off because this stuff's pretty tough. It's only been a couple minutes and you can see that how that chemical stripper is making this paint curl up. And I'll uh, try the putty knife here. It scrapes right off. And I might even put another layer on here. Or another coat to get the rest of this up. Well, I'll tell you what, this is uh, some tough stuff. This is three coats of stripper and been sanded on and it's still there. So I've got my rotary gasket tool, Scotch Bright type pad on an air tool. And I'm going to see if I can clean this up a little bit better. So I ended up switching to the coarse grade. Um, this is a Gator Grit brand. I'm not sure where I got this at Lowe's or what. Um, and then these green ones are a finer grit. These are actually a 3M product. Uh, roll lock is what I used to call them. And um, angle die grinder with the pad. And they attach like this. They roll on and it's got these threads inside the there and threads there so yeah I had really good luck with the course to take the paint off 
and then um, it's going to leave a lot of swirl marks. So I went over it with the green, more fine cut, and then you can see how clean that came. I even found a number from here. So let me. So I'll end up scotch brighting this, probably to take even the rest of the swirl marks out. And then the next thing I'm going to do to try to clean the inside here is spray some wheel cleaner. I picked up this Meguiar's aluminum wheel cleaner. Mostly because it said uncoated aluminum on the label. But uh, pretty cool color too, huh? Anyway, it says to rinse it first, and then uh, spray it, let it sit for 15 seconds, and rinse it again. I'm gonna try that without agitating it, and see how this looks. So let's do it real quick here. Make sure you've got some eye protection, because it says you definitely do not want to get this stuff in your ass. Had to fight this uh, little tab. I should probably cut off, but it must be some kind of safety on here. It was really hard to turn this thing to spray, but okay, here we go. Whoa, foamy. And it kind of shoots sideways here. This was round two with the wheel cleaner and I used a brass bristle brush um, and I scrubbed only half of this about to here pretty good while it had the cleaner on it and I thought for sure it was going to be a, a huge difference but so I don't know I really was like expecting it to end up I don't know why almost like etched like looking like this after a spraying in there but anyway I think I'll um, just not use the wheel cleaner on the rest of these and just use uh, an abrasive of some kind I'll just hit these with the cut brush or the hand wire brush get them cleaned up a little bit better I got sucked into one more round with that wheel cleaner <laughs> uh, and I hit it with the wire brush and um, did some more with the roll lock it's more clean and some more scotch bright. Uh, the problem spots are here around these rivets. You can't really, it's tough to get the paint um, with the rotary or with the uh, die grinder or anything. So I kind of have to do that manually in this corner. You can see there's some paint in there still. So anyway, that's as clean as you're going to get. So I got my uh, seals from Vintage Trailer Supply. Ding ding. So this is the rubber seal that I got that goes here along the bottom inside of this channel. This is the seal or the brush um, that goes in here on the side goes into here into this channel along all the window panes and I got my rubber biscuits and they go here. When you slide your glass in, you sit right in here. Hold the glass nice and tight. So I'll do that on the next video. We'll put this all back together with the new seals and the glass. And a nice clean frame. Thanks for watching.